So, my last keyboard review, you guys really seem to like it. So hopefully you like this one, because I got a new keyboard today, and we're going to take a look at it. Alright, let's open her up. Here we go. This is the Razer Black Widow Chroma Tournament Edition version 2. So, this is Razer's kind of flagship keyboard. Um, it's not the full size version as you can see by the box. Uh, it is 10 keyless. Uh, we do not have the keypad on the right side. Um, we do have the arrow keys and some of these function keys up here, but uh, we're missing the keypad. Uh, we got a wrist rest and everything. But, and one thing that we're going to go over, right here, this little label, we have Razer yellow switches. Now that's kind of what got me interested in this keyboard, because Razer's known for their green switches mostly, which are very, you know, tactile and clicky with the little bump and everything. Um, but this one does not have that. So, let's open it up. So... Here we have the keyboard itself. I bought this. Uh, this came used off of eBay in pretty good condition. Um, so it is 10 keyless, as you can see. We have our USB-B port right here, which we will attach our cable to. Uh, cable is right here. Um, it's just a simple attach the USB, and uh, I believe that is a USB 3.0 connector. So. Let's do, let's uh, show you what these keys look like, and then we'll do a uh, typing test once I get it all hooked up. Alright, so I was able to take off the, uh, one of the keycaps to show you. This is a yellow switch, so just listen to this. So, as you know, uh, or as you may or may not know, Razer does not use Cherry MX switches. They use their own proprietary switches. Um, so we have the greens, which are common. They're the clicky kind with the tactile bump, and those are like Cherry MX Blues. Uh, there are also Razer Orange switches that are tactile but not clicky. They're like a Cherry MX Brown. Now, these yellow switches are probably the hardest to find. Uh, I think you might have to... I don't see them on Amazon a lot. I got this one off eBay, and the guy said that he had to order it directly from Razer. But these yellow ones are just linear. They don't have a tactile bump, and they don't click. So they're kind of like a Cherry MX Red and a Black. Um, they're a little bit heavier than a Red, not as heavy as a Black, but as you can see, they don't make any noise when you're um, pressing the keys. So they're good for being very, very silent. Um, we do have the full RGB um, setup here, so I'm going to get this attached to my PC, and I'll pull up the Razer software and show you what the lighting looks like. All right, so I went ahead and got everything set up. Um, I just turned all the keys to be uh, white. Uh, as you can see, I got the wrist rest. Um, it's all magnetic, so it just connects. Um, it feels very, very nice to rest on while you're typing. So here's a nice little typing test for you. And I'm bottoming the keys out. It's pretty easy. Now, the last keyboard I reviewed was the Varmillo V87, uh, the Moonlight Edition. So I kind of wanted to give you an idea of how this compares to that. Okay, so there you go. Uh, the Varmillo is definitely a lot heavier because those are Cherry MX Blacks. The Razer switches do feel a little bit lighter, um, so they're probably closer to a Cherry MX Red if you want to compare. But um, overall, it feels very nice. I like having my, the Razer software to configure the lights how I want it. Um, so yeah, overall, very, very satisfied with this keyboard. Again, it comes with the green, which is the clicky, the orange, which is just the tactile bump, and then the yellow, which is linear. Um, so that is the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2. 
So yeah, really like this keyboard and I'm gonna definitely be playing some games on it because uh, it just feels so good. Feels, I got my mouse here, it feels really, really good for a, for a FPS or something like that. So yeah, um, let me go what you guys think. Do you have the keyboard? Are you gonna buy it? Whatever, tell me what you're thinking. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.